Quite a bit of relief out there with some steady rainfall, which we need so badly and a little bit of cooler weather as well. This was the view as some of the storms came in earlier this morning. This was right over I-235 in West Des Moines, the leading edge of our outflow boundary there. And of course, that's when the wind picked up a little bit as well. It was also a stormy start to the day in Perry, Iowa. This is a shelf cloud that appeared there again on the leading edge of the outflow boundary as that pushed into down. Dallas County. So we did get some good beneficial rainfall and we're not necessarily totally done just yet. Around five o'clock this evening, we could still see some isolated thunderstorms bubbling up along the cold front that has not actually gone through yet. Everything that we've had so far has been ahead of the front, so the rain will linger in southern Iowa and then there will be more sporadic showers and storms developing. These are going to gradually push to the south as we go through the evening, but it will be more sporadic in nature, so not everybody is going to see rainfall the entire night. And I do think where we still have the most available more Moisture is out in western and southwestern Iowa, so that's where a lot of this is going to go. Should still skirt areas along I-35 and areas to the east will probably get a little bit less of this activity through 10 o'clock. It's that type of rain where it goes for a half hour, then it stops, and then it starts again. And then the rain likely will stick around in southern Iowa as we get enough energy in the atmosphere to keep showers and thunderstorms in place, at least through the first half of the overnight hours. And these should start to wind down by early tomorrow morning by 7 or 8 o'clock. We may have a few sprinkles left across the part of the state, but most of us will be dry. So even though we talked about the afternoon and evening being when the heaviest of this would come through, a lot of that came a little bit earlier than expected, but I think a lot of folks said, you know what, does it really matter? We just needed the rain so badly. Here's what the rest of the evening looks like. Still some scattered rain with the heaviest in southern Iowa. Temperatures actually in the mid to upper 70s. It will turn mainly cloudy in the metro through the late evening hours. And again, temperatures will stay in the low range of the 70s through most of the overnight. We have a quieter stretch coming our way starting tomorrow. More sunshine through the day, a high of 85, 86 on on Tuesday again a lot of sunshine by Wednesday a little bit of rain could come into the state late in the day high temperatures still for the most part in the mid 80s. Let's plan out your Monday hour by hour. A little cloudy early in the morning, just kind of the residual cloud cover left over from today's rain. Otherwise, increasing sunshine highs get up into the mid 80s. There will be much, much lower humidity as well. And then going into much of the upcoming week, we will enjoy that lower humidity again. Tuesday looking for 86 or 87. A little bit of rain possible Wednesday night and then scattered showers potentially on Thursday. Otherwise, it's a fairly dry forecast with highs in the low 80s by the end of the week.